What's going on YouTube? This is Super Slips Review here back with another protein powder review. This is of GNC's Pure Edge Complete Protein. A little bit about the Pure Edge line from GNC. It's uh, my uh, like a natural natural um, supplement, meaning it's no artificial color sweeteners or flavors. Uh, the flavor of this was natural berry. Um, you know, being a something that's not no artificial colors or anything like that. This does not taste very good. You know, it kind of tastes like some berries, but also tastes like dirt flavored berries. You know, like <laughs> they're dirty berries or something. Um, I could choke it down. You know, it wasn't completely terrible. I'd probably rate it a five for the flavor, but not something I definitely enjoyed drinking. So just know that. Um, it says you're right on the label. You do get one serving of fruit and veggies plus chia and CLA per serving. So I do like seeing that. Um, like I said, there's no artificial flavors, colors, or sweeteners. I like seeing that. So props for all that for GNC. I also picked this up for like six bucks on clearance. So definitely check out, look for this on your clearance rack. Definitely worth it for six bucks. Um, as far as the supplement facts, uh, the supplement label, uh, I'll tell you the macros and calories and all that. Two scoops is just the serving size. You do get 24 uh, servings per container, which is about average for like a two pound container. This is a two and a half pound container, but it's the same price as a regular two pound. Um, there's 109 calories, so that is pretty high on the calorie scale for a protein powder. You know, some protein powders are as low as 100, 100 calories per scoop, so if you're cutting, I wouldn't really recommend this. You know, just adding in some extra calories when you're really just looking for protein out of your protein powder most of the time. Uh, so, yeah, 109 calories, you, and you do have four and a half grams of fat. I believe that's from the CLA and uh, medium chain triglycerides. Um, so, you know, it's, it's good fat, but it's still fat and it's still calories. Um, one of those grams is saturated. That's probably from the uh, MCTs. Uh, you do have 17 grams of carbs. Once again, that's a lot of carbs. Once again, not good for when you're cutting. Uh, the carb source looks to be gl glucose syrup. <laughs> that's the only carb I see on here. So maybe just from glucose syrup is where your carbs come from. Um, 20 grams of protein per serving, that's a low on the scale, sometimes you see 25, 26, 27 grams of protein per scoop, this only has 20 grams, so there's that, you know, low on the protein scale, I'm not very happy about that, and then you have um, some nutrients such as calcium, magnesium, zinc, zodium, potassium, um, but here's, here's another interesting part of it, once you get past the macro part, you get into the, um, the actual ingredients and it tells you like how much of each ingredient is in here. So then here's where you get your, your serving of fruit and veggies, which is the fruit and veggie blend. Um, that's made of a prune, pot, prune powder, zucchini powder, apple powder, blueberry powder, pea powder, and sweet potato powder. And that's 3.9 uh, grams. And you do get one serving of fruit and veggies per every, per every scoop serving of um, complete protein. So I do like that. That was nice to see. Especially coming from a college student, college student where I definitely do not get enough fruit and veggies a day. Um, and then you have betaine at 2.5 grams. That is the clinical dose of betaine. If you don't know what betaine does, it basically just increases your strength output on when you're uh, exercising. Say you bench 225 or 5, maybe the betaine will help you get 225 or 6. You know, it acts sort of, sort of like creatine, but in a different way. Like it supposedly helps you increase strength. That is a clinical dose. I love seeing that a lot of times. Like when you see betaine product, there'll be one gram or one and a half grams. So you want to see the two and a half grams get to your clinical dose. And then you have the muscle support and recovery blend. That you have your BCAAs. You have two grams of leucine, uh, one point two grams of isoleucine, one point two grams of valine. So you have an additional um, four point four grams of. Nah, it doesn't. Okay, so you have 4.4 grams of BCAs, but these are the natural, naturally occurring BCAs in the protein powder. And they have 800 milligrams of uh, glutamine, and then you have choline. That's choline bitartrate. Bitartrate is the cheaper version of choline. Choline is a nootropic. It helps your brain function, things like that. However, 100 milligrams of choline bitartrate is very, very underdosed, I'd say. You want to see at least 300 milligrams of choline bitartrate, so you see how underdosed that is. Um, and then it just gets your flavor system, which is raspberry flavor, strawberry flavor, <clears throat> mixed berry flavor, and other natural flavors. And then the other ingredients, um, here comes what your protein is made up of. It's whey protein concentrate, milk protein concentrate, 
milk protein isolate and whey protein isolate. So this is not all just whey. Um, milk protein also has casein in it. So this is um, has your fast digesting whey plus your slower digesting casein. So you, I would recommend this using throughout the day or maybe before bed. It's not the best protein powder to have after a workout because it's not all whey protein. It does have the slower, slower digesting casein in it. And then you have inulin, sunflower oil, cane sugar, buttermilk, red bee powder, and that's how they color it, it was with the red bee powder. Um, citric acid, silicon dioxide, guar gum. Guar gum is for the texture to make it thicken up a little bit. Medium chain triglycerides is your fat source. And then you have clarinol, which is um, safflower oil, which contains the CLA, which is your other, sap, fat, which your other uh, fat source. Glucose, glucose syrup is, um, I believe, where the carbs are coming from. So in case in the silicon dioxide, less than another texturizer, texture sodium, diphosphate, tocosferol, chia seed meal, safflower oil, disodium phosphate, and monk fruit extract. And I believe the monk fruit extract is how they're um, flavoring, how they're flavoring most of this anyway. So as far as this goes, um, the things I like about it, the added betaine I really like seeing. I really believe in betaine as long as you get, do get to the clinical dose. I like seeing that they, uh, there's a full uh, dose of fruit and veggies in each serving. Uh, <clears throat> one thing I didn't talk about, but they did add five grams of fiber, which I like seeing. The things I don't like about it is it's high in calories. You have 109 calories per serving if you're on a cut. I would stay away from this because you know, unless you want to get another extra almost 100 calories per serving from this protein powder compared to the, another one. It's relatively low in protein, only 20 grams a scoop. Um, when once again you can get 25, 26, 27 grams of protein from a different protein powder. Um, so yeah, uh, I would recommend this to you know someone like me who doesn't get enough fruit and veggies a day. Um, maybe someone that's bulking, you know, 109 calories. You're like whatever, dude, I'm bulking. You can fit that in. Um, but if you're on a cut, I would stay away from this. Definitely, if you see this on clearance for as cheap as I did, I picked this up for six bucks for two pounds. Three dollars pound for protein is crazy. Um, so yeah, for me, I would pick this up on clearance again, especially for six bucks, you know. Um, but definitely was my favorite pro favorite protein. It didn't taste very good, but I did choke it down. Once again, it was worth it for six bucks. Regular price, I would definitely stay away from it. Uh, cutting, I would stay away from it. Bulkers, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and grab it, especially on the on the cut. All right, thanks, guys.